announce you as new club captain. You must be delighted with this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's my boyhood club. I've lived in Simmer for my life. Uh, as a player, really, I don't think you can get a higher role given to you, like, apart from obviously being the first team captain, but obviously being the club captain is probably that one bit higher. So, yeah, more than delighted. Talk me through about the conversations you had with the club about this decision. Was it a pretty quick process towards it? Well, pretty much I'd come into the club one evening, spoke to Jay Fawn, the chairman, and he mentioned that the club captaincy was up for like availability as the previous one had has been uh, travelling. And he said that my name had been mentioned a couple of times. So, yeah, it was... Obviously, that took me away straight away. And then... Honestly, a couple of weeks later, I got a um, message from Jay himself saying that he'd like that him, the committee, the managers would like to give me the club captaincy. And yeah, it was yeah, pretty quick process. Obviously, you've been with Sydney Town since a very young age. What is it about the club that makes you want to play a week in, week out? I mean, you've got to look at it. To be honest, I've come around this club like you, the pitch is probably either the best or one of the best around. I don't think you're going to get a better pitch anywhere else. The clubhouse is unbelievable. It's so modern and up-to-date, and it's just the people in involved. It's not so much... It's not looked at as a club. It's like it's just one massive group of friends, and that's what makes it so easy to get on with and play football week in, week out, and playing with your friends. Where else would you rather be? Yeah, and obviously being club captain means you have to take a massive leadership role. Can you just say a few words and describe yourself as a leader? Well, I mean, I've never really looked at myself as a leader, but clearly others have, which I guess shows a good thing that I'm uh, unconsciously a leader in myself. And I feel like I take, I always take both sides to an extent where I will look at both, like everyone's opinions. And like when coming into a game, I'll be looking at obviously how the other team are playing and how that can affect us in different ways around it and yeah I feel like I'm quite a quite a 50-50 leader like I can I'll be on anyone's side as long as it's on the end of Sidmouth and finally what would you like to achieve in the future as club captain any personal goals or um probably just keeping the club as one it's doing well at the moment all teams are involved with each other and the club is on the up massively. Obviously, like with this proving the media, um, it's been a massive outbreak this season for the media for the club with all three um, social media sites. And I mean, the club's on the way up. They won the uh, the first team won a cup last year. They're doing well this year. Second team are doing well. The third team are doing well. Just keep the club going and making sure everyone feels they're involved in the club and everyone's got a part to play. Uh, it was a bit of a no-brainer for us, really. Jack has um, been connected to the club for a very long time, both himself and his family. Um, he's recognised and respected in the club, um, and uh, he's someone to look up to. I think the club have recognised that, certainly I have. Um, and with um, organisation and various things I am involved with, Jack's always to hand if, if we need him there. Um, and going forward, yeah, he's just a, a good guy, and Sidmouth through and through.